So here's all the parts to your seven frame flow hive roof. These are the roof rails. The larger one goes at the front here. If you've got it the wrong way around, then what you'll notice is there's a big gap here. Dry fit it together. If it's in the correct way around, with the logo is facing outside, then it should be right here. Using your nifty tool and your square drive bit, you can then put in the square drive screws, putting it through the hole in the gable end. So holding the parts together, use your square drive screw to put the screws in. Now, the arrow carrier wood is a bit harder, so you will need to apply some pressure to get your screw started. Stopping when you're still just proud of the wood. If you have a drill handy, you can put the square drive bit into the drill and that'll make it a bit quicker. Now go around and put all your screws in. Being careful not to over tighten or you may split the wood. The next thing you want to do is make sure your roof rails and gables are square. The neat way to do that is you get your inner cover, drop it inside and push it into the corners. Now I'm just noticing that this is almost square but not quite because there's a gap in the corner. So what we need to do is hold that in place while we put the shingles on. And you can do that using the wing screw. You may need to pack this area with a little bit of cardboard or whatever you've got just to get enough pressure to really hold the roof into that corner. So you can see now it's holding square while we go ahead and put the shingles on and lock it in place. Go ahead and add your shingle. You'll notice it sits in place because of these ridges. Next, get your roof alignment block and press it up against the end of the gable and onto the shingle and what you're doing is just getting your alignment right. Do the same on the other side. Next, using some wood glue, put some glue right in this area here where it's going to meet with the other shingle. And that just means you'll create a better weather seal. Place it in line with the other shingle. And do the same on the other side. You can also do this area here on the ridge cap. Then you're pressing into place. Make sure you get your roof alignment block and just check you're in the right alignment for the holes to match up with the gables. Okay, next we're going to pull the roof nice and tight together at the top by squeezing on the shingles and screw the ridge cap down. And for your shingles, the screw will be square to the roof slope, so it should be on an angle like that. Wipe away any excess glue. Next, undo the wing screw that's holding the inner cover in place. And you should have one nice square roof. You can touch it up with sandpaper. Don't forget to put in your other wing screw. One nicely finished flow hive. I'd recommend 
a good outdoor house paint, especially on the roof, get it in all these cracks, create a good weather seal for a long lasting hive. Best of luck with your new hive.